Hi, this is Jason with Tormach. We have a little quick tip video for you guys today. We're gonna to run through how to align your vise on your CNC machine. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get the machine cleaned out, clean up all the chips. We take a light degreaser, a, a denatured alcohol of some sort, and just clean the table off and get it nice and, just nice and cleaned up. If your table's real clean and full of coolant and stuff, you're gonna load up your stones. You're gonna to have to clean your stones all the time. It just makes it a little easier when we just degrease everything when we start. So we'll grab our stones here. As you'll notice, I always try to keep two. If they do get loaded up, you can take the two stones and you can just rub the faces together. Um, I normally do this in a, in a solvent tank or under running water of some sort or with a, another sort of degreaser, and that'll clean out your stones for you. So just kind of a, as a little note for you guys. But we'll just grab one of these stones here. We always want to use the smooth side. So these both have a coarse and a smooth. We want to use the fine grit side. So we're just going to rub the table down. And what we're doing is we're just kind of listening for a nice consistent sound in how it feels, if we can feel any high spots. And we just kind of work over the whole table to make sure we don't have any burrs or indentations in it. If we do feel a little spot, we'll just kind of work over it until it goes away. This one feels pretty nice. When I'm done, I always like to just take my hand and run it over the table just to make sure it feels clean and clear and you can feel any grit you know, on the table. So just kind of wipe it all down. We'll do the same thing with our vise. We'll just flip the vise over. We've got it all cleaned and degreased already, but we can see we have a little bit of surface rust and stuff on here from sitting. So we'll just go ahead and stone this off as well. Since we got everything cleaned up, then we can just take the vise and we'll just set it right in the machine. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're positioning your vise on any milling machine and on ours included, we need to make sure that our vise isn't going to interfere with the way covers or the doors or any of the other accessories on the machine. Um, so on our little PCT 440 here, I always keep the four inch vise flush to the back of the table. So I kind of just eyeball it up here by hand. And then roughly center of the travel is, is acceptable. Sometimes if you want to put multiple vices in um, the same machine, then you'll have to cheat in one way or the other. So you may have to jog the machine around and make sure that you have clearance and you know the appropriate position to the vice to put two vices in or something. So we'll just set them in there, grab our clamps. Kind of the key to all of this and the trick of it all is to position your clamps in here and then just tighten one side. You want to snug them both, but you want to leave one side loose. What that allows us to do is allows the vise to rotate around that side. So it makes indicating it in a lot quicker and a lot easier. We used to have a game we played always at the shop was you can only traverse the vise three times and if you had to do it more than that you got to buy lunch for the day. So kind of a fun little game to play with some friends or some coworkers and stuff. So I'll lightly snug both. I don't want it to move too easily where I kind of chase it around. So I kind of just real lightly snug it and then I'll snug one side up. And on this vise we have carved smart jaws installed. So these have replaceable soft jaws. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove the soft jaws. I don't want to indicate it on a rough surface. I'd like to indicate it in my fixed hard jaw. So I'll go ahead and remove these aluminum jaws that are in here and we'll indicate it right on the fixed jaw. So these are a nice quick change jaw system. Just pop the two dovetails off. And we'll just pop the jaws out of here. Wouldn't need to remove both to align the vise, but I'm going to have to switch jaws for the job that we're going to run this afternoon. So, then we'll just wipe them down to make sure everything's clean. Then we'll grab our indicator here. Let's have a magnetic base indicator we'll use. So we'll just stick it on the spindle here, kind of position it, stay on one side of the vise, and we'll just snug it up. And then just using our jog shuttle, I'll just jog this down. Just put the vise in the middle of the travel here. Just got to reposition my indicator. So let's get some preload on there. Um, you can zero your indicator. Some people really like to zero them, some people don't. Um, it kind of just makes a little simpler process if you do zero it. And we'll just traverse across the jaw. And you can see if we push on the indicator real lightly, if we're pulling away, it continues direction that it was traveling. So that tells us that this side of the jaw is too far away from the indicator. So we'll just take a dead bull hammer and we'll tap on the 
this vise a little, you can see you can move it by hand a little bit. And we'll just put it back to zero. So we'll just tap on the vise real lightly. You always have to go past zero a little bit. You can't take it just directly to zero. So I usually go past by a thou or two, depending on how far it's out, kind of just as a by feel thing. Then I'll run back across the table. And you can see we're you know, at minus one there. So I actually went a little too far. So I'll kind of just take a guess there on how much. We can re-zero the indicator at this time if we want, or we can use it where it's sitting. We'll go ahead and re-zero it just so it's easier for everybody to see. And we'll jog it back across. You can see we're still about four thousandths off. And there, we're right on zero. So it, it didn't move at all across there, across the length of the vice draw. So at this point, we can go ahead and tighten it up. You always want to tighten them evenly. Always snug them one side and the other and kind of just tighten them up evenly as we go. So we'll get the indicator back on zero just to verify our vice is still trimmed in. You can see we stay right at zero across the whole length of the vice. So this is the basic procedure for indicating an advice on a milling machine. Uh, this will work on any mill that you guys have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out our other YouTube videos here and subscribe to our YouTube channel.